Hey my squidlings, it's Katie here and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing another demo slash review for you guys. Um, so today's demo review is going to be of the Manga Marker Illustration Paper by US Art Supply. There are 24 sheets in here. It is acid free, neutral pH, natural white sheets ideal for sketching and mixed dry media, marking pen paper with a smooth uniform surface that is virtually bleed proof, ideal paper for drawing with ink pens, water, and permanent markers and all pencils. Um, and then this is just a 9 by 12 and 60 pound paper. Um, and that's really all there is to talk about what they say about it anyway. So, um, let's just look at the paper. Alright, so I don't know if you can see, yeah, there we go, um, that it is pretty shiny. This side is really shiny. This other side's kind of matte. Um, and I'm gonna actually be testing out both sides of the paper. Um, so, let's rip this off. So I'm going to be testing a number of different types of utensils on this. I'm going to be testing pens, markers, different types of markers, pencils, stuff like that. So let me grab my stuff and we'll just start marking this paper up. Alright, so here's everything I'm going to be testing out. Um, of course I'll say it as I'm using it, but I'm going to be using a Stadler Tri Plus liner, a Posca Uni pen, a Micron Pigma pen, a Copic marker, a Tombow um, like dual ended ABT marker, then I've got a couple of different color pencils. I have just a regular Prismacolor pencil and then I have a Prismacolor color race, uh, and then I have some Dr. PH Martin's Bombay India ink. Now I'm going to be using the ink with a dip pen just because I want to see how that works because this is supposed to be manga illustration paper. I might end up using a brush, I'm not sure, I probably will just to get all my bases covered. Um, but I really have a variety here and we'll just, I guess, see how this works. I'll probably use more than one Copic, but I just wanted to show you the initial supplies beforehand. And I go ahead and, and I want to go ahead and apologize if I sound sick, I kind of sound stoppy to myself, so, um, yeah, I'm sorry for that. Um, let's see, I think that's all, I'm probably also going to test out a pencil because I can. Um, so I suppose without further ado, let's just get to marking this paper up. So first up, I'm going to just be using pencil and I'm just going to kind of just mark. I mean, really, it's not, not going to be doing an illustration quite yet. And I may not if I don't like this paper. I don't know. Um, so now I'm going to try to erase it and see how well this paper erases. Um, I'm not a fan of how it erases. I don't know if you can see that, but just look at how smudgy it is. I'm not a fan. And, um, the pencil seems to go on fine, though. It's just not very good for erasing, at least the glossy side. I am going to be testing both sides. I don't know if I said that. So, let's go next with this pencil. Yeah, let me write what it is underneath. Pencil. This is terrible. I don't know if you can see how chunky that is, but this is terrible. No to the Prismacolor Premier pencils. All right, so next I'm gonna be using a Prismacolor Color Race, which is not near as waxy. This one, it's, I don't know. Okay, one, I'm writing letters, it's very, I don't know, this pencil should have been darker. And it's really not, it's very hard to get the colored pencils onto this paper. You have to press pretty hard. <laughs> All right, so next we're going to use the Tombow ABT marker. I don't have high hopes for this, to be honest. All right, so from what it looks like, the color actually sits on top, which I'm not really surprised about. <clears throat> I'm going to use another one and see how they blend. They don't at all. Okay. Um, so, 
There's the Tombow, and I don't know if you can see that, but it has like a little lot of, a little lot of, it has a lot of um, white specks, and I just don't really like the Tombow markers on this, to be honest. Alright, so far this paper is not doing too well. <laughs> okay, next up I'm going to be doing some Copic marker techniques. Let's put some of this down. Okay, it seems nice enough. It's a lot lighter than I would have hoped though. Like these colors are actually pretty decently dark whenever I put them on another piece of paper. Um, but the ink just kind of sits on top and it doesn't look that bad, I guess. But I assume if you're doing more techniques, like if I were to layer this back on because I wanted more blending, yeah, the color gets a little darker. But it looks a little bit splotchier. Yeah, it's really splotchy. I'm gonna go ahead and write kind of back over here. I mean, if you're into this kind of streaky look, then I say go for it. But I'm just not a fan, especially when it's labeled as a marker paper. And another thing I want to say is this says this paper is 60 pounds, but it really doesn't feel like that. It's pretty thin. Alright, let, uh, let's see what else can I test. Okay, I have my Micron pen here. Well, that shows up nicely. Now, I do seem to like the pins on this paper. I feel like this would be a nice paper for maybe pins. Yeah, oh wow, look how vibrant that is. Okay, so... Just from first impressions, I don't like the markers on this paper, I don't like pencils on this paper, but I do like pens on this paper. Next we're going to do ink, because it's the last one that I have that I haven't done yet. Alright. Um, to be honest, I really like the dip pen on this as well. It's very nice. It The pin writes pretty smoothly on it. I don't feel like I'm tearing up my paper or anything. Um, like I said, I really like pins on this paper. They shouldn't market it as a marker paper. They should market it as a pin paper. Um, I kind of want to blend some more Copics though because, I don't know, I feel like those colors are way too similar to get a good idea of what it can do. So let's try some different colors. Well, as we can see right here, it doesn't really blend very well. I don't know if you can see that, but I can't get this line to blend. Maybe it's because I worked dark to light, though. I don't know. Um, let's try working light to dark. Oh, I got some. My nip was dirty. Alright. Now let's go back over the thing, see if it blends better that way. It does blend better light to dark, but I'm still honestly not a fan. Um, I don't know if you can see, and you may not be able to. Let's see. In real life, it looks really streaky and kind of bleedy, and um, I'm not a big fan. I'm just not. Um, and then it says no bleed through, and they do mean it. There's no bleed through here, and I put a few layers on, so that's pretty nice. Now I am going to test the back side to see if maybe there's a difference. Alright, so the back side here, we're going to be testing this pencil again. And I already see a difference in the pencil because I feel like it lays on better. So let's write pencil here, and then I'll try to erase this little corner because, yeah. Um, it's not as smeary, but I think it looks a lot better than the other side if you were to try to erase on it. 
Ah, uh, the Prismacolor Premier. Looks a little better on the wrong side of the paper. Um, it's not 100% like what I would prefer, but it doesn't look near as chunky. And then the Prismacolor Color Race. This one definitely looks better. It's nicer, but I still wouldn't recommend, you know, using it for pen colored pencils. I mean, this paper, it says all pencils, but I honestly wouldn't recommend it. Um, now, for the wrong side, like I just said, though, I would recommend the pencil. It is a lot better. Maybe even Prismacolor Premier if this is all you had. Alright, next up we're going to do markers again. So, let's try the Tombow ones. Well, they seem to blend better. Oh, they seem to blend better, but I'm not sure if you see that black speck up in the corner, but it just like ripped the paper. So water-based markers, don't blend them too much on the wrong side of the paper because you might rip your paper. <laughs> All right, now for Copics. I'm gonna do the darker ones just because they worked better. Let's do light to dark like I did last time. Oops, wrong marker. I'm still not a big fan. I'm just really not. It's just really streaky and it doesn't seem to blend very well. That's my problem with this paper. I mean, it's, yeah. All right, let's try pens on the wrong side. So here is the Stadler Tri Plus. I feel like they look more vibrant on the other side. Um, oh yeah, definitely. They look way more vibrant on the other side, um, let's try a dip pen really fast, and then that'll be it for our initial test. Um, I'm not gonna do an illustration, I don't think, because I just, I don't like this paper, I'm gonna be honest. So, let's try the dip pen. I mean, you know, the pens work great, like I already said, I love the pens on this, ha all this paper. It's not a good marker paper, it's not a good pencil paper, and that's just how I see it. Um, you can make your own decision based on what you saw me do, but I tested out basically all of the utensils that I do own, and I'm not a big fan unless I'm doing pen work or something like that. Because, I don't know, I don't like it when marker paper, like, the ink sits on top. I hate that. I would rather it soak in so I can put more layers on so it doesn't get all bleedy and nasty and stuff like that so I mean honestly like I said I'm not gonna do an illustration I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys my rating I'm gonna rate this probably a 3 of 10 and the only reason it gets anything higher than a 1 is because of the pens the pens actually look really decent on this paper I think they look good other than that it's not a marker paper it just no unless you like this kind of look I just, I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, I could not in good conscience say, hey, go buy this. I just, no. And I'm not even going to put a link in the description because I don't even like it. So, yeah. Um, I mean, take with this as you will. But, uh, yeah. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope it was informative, you know, to where you know what paper not to buy. Um, I hope you give it a thumbs up if you like it, and don't forget to join our cute little squid army, uh, if you haven't already, to be updated on when I upload a new video. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!